Hello everyone, Castellano here, and welcome back to another episode of The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we got our sister's telescope, and a girl fell into the forest, and we have to go save her. Our, our, uh, our journey of being a hero begins, I suppose. Alright, let's, let's see what we can go do. We need, we need a sword and a shield, I think. You child, get away from me. I do not like you. Yuck. Okay. Um, let's try heading to Grandma, I guess. That might be a plan. Go see the Grams. Hi. Cass, what's the matter? What happened? Alright. We don't go see the Grams. Maybe we can talk to Orca because we need a, a sword. No, I don't want to. No, thank you. I already know how. Hi. Oh, what's the matter, Cass? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is, from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, Cass? Ah, uh, have you come for more serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. So polite. Very good. Your first lesson shall be the horizontal slice. Okay. Uh oh. Go! Yay! Very good. Next is the vertical slice. Okay. Keep swinging. Very good. The thrust. Uh-oh. I tried! Okay, spin attack. Uh-oh. What? Here we go. I don't want you to friggin' beat my ass. We are in a corner. Can we come over here, please, sir? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! You are an intimidating old man. Nice. That was a fine display! Can I keep the sword, please? And yet I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold, an eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to wield, to be wielded on the field of battle. I do not know what has happened. Maybe go outside. <laughs> but I have faith in you. Somehow I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, Cass. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. Great birthday present. Thank you. You accepted the hero sword. Use it wisely and carefully. You don't want to let down the kind old man who has entrusted it to you. Since the olden days, the sword has been used to fend off evil. Its blade is infused with the desire to become strong and righteous. Be strong, Cass. You remind me of my old sensei. Alright, we have a sword. Let's go! Let's go beat some things up. Let's go slaughter. Slaughter. <laughs> I've been playing Apex lately. I love Bloodhound.
Would you guys be interested in seeing some Apex on my channel? Just a question. Let me know in the comments. Is there money here? Any money? Not a single rupee. Wow. I like how the music just kind of fades away. I like it. Okay, I want to explore a little bit. Yep, good exploring. It's a sea, yep. Hop over. <gasps> yes, please. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay. I don't see anyone. No, nope. not what I want. Oh, there is someone. <gasps> but there's 20 rupees here. Oh. Hi. Sick. Oh, he had he had one dollar on him. Wow. Ooh, what's this? Can I can I there we go. Read. Fairy fountain site. This spot marks the remains of an ancient fairy fountain. The legendary hero was said to come here after battle so the fairies could ease his weariness. It was also said that whoever met with the great fairy who lived here was blessed with great fortune. So it, be, so it came to be known as the Fountain of Fortune Goddess. Okay. That's cool. Oh, well, this... Okay. At least we don't have to fight the birds. Okay, don't scream in my face, you know? It's fine. Oi, you die too. Anything? Nothing. Anything? Nothing. Oh, a convenient time for you to wake up. I must say. It's not like I couldn't have used your other knife. Whatever. <laughs> Link just stands there. Ouch! Wow, what's with the get up? Don't, don't bully me. I just got these. My grandma made them for me. Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. A giant bird came in. Miss, Miss Tetra! Oh, thank, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let, let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Link's like, I follow too. I want to join. Hi, big brother. Uh oh.
yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. Oh. Oh, he looks so sad. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Uh huh. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know, pirates, the terrors of the seas. What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get, a headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all, but that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Oh, hey, postman. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, just who are you? Where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears just like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was kidnapped from this island also has long ears. Does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. Ooh, this boy talks. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why it grabbed her. Uh, yeah, you stay quiet. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young Cass here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is that true? Well, I was the only one who was there! Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the bird that kidnapped both you and Cass's sister has made its foul nest in the north of the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So what are you going to do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give Cass a little help now, would it? Hm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about the Forsaken Fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but that cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on, even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what, if you come back with something like that, we'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go say your goodbye to your family while you have the chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Hi. Hey, a shrimplet. Are you going to be our new pirate swabby? Because any new swabby reports to me. Yes, this means I don't have to wash the other pirate's dirty underpants anymore. Oh my god. What do you say? This is a terrible situation, Cass. I'm truly sorry. Unfortunately, I can't go in your stead, but if anything happens, please come to my island. I will do what I can to aid you. Thank you. All right, let's go see Grandma. I was gonna go get that rupee, but we can only have one more. Hi. Cass, I thought I heard a rose voice cry from far away. Is it? Is it really true? Yeah. It sure is! Where's Aurel? Is she still outside playing with the golds? No, she's not. I mean, technically. Grandma? Grandma? Cass. Is this what you're looking for?
Take it with you. You got the hero shield. This is the legendary shield said to have been used by the hero himself. Look how sad he looks. I guess it is true. Aru has been kidnapped, hasn't she? What kind of monster could take such a sweet young child? Um, a monstrous bird. Oh, she's crying. And now, every time we come here, it's gonna be sad music. Oh, real. I'll go save her, Grandma. Don't you worry. You just worry about yourself. I have it covered. All right, let's go to the store quickly. And we shall be on our way at that point. Climb, climb. Thank you. Oh, a customer, welcome to Beetle Shop Ship. Wah. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me. I'll pay top rupees for your junk. Gonna buy that? You got the bait bag. You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait. Nice, okay. You're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a members, oh, a members card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind of is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. One point. Try get thirty points. Okay. Okay. Let's get some bait. Animals will be drawn to this gourmet pet food the moment you put it down. It has three portions. Okay. Thank you. Let's try and get some more of those. And I'm quickly gonna get a pair. Nice. The special bait allows you to take control of seagulls. When controlling seagulls. Da da da. Okay. Four points, and one more. There we go. We have five points. So we need 25 more. All right, cool. Hi. Wow, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? Why are you so mean? Well, whatever. If you're ready, then let's go. Are you ready? Yes. Good luck finding a real. Take care of yourself. Oh, Grandma, I don't think you can see over that pole. But thank you for coming outside and showing yourself. Bye, Grandma. Bye, everyone. Ugh, how much longer is this going to go on, do you think? Do you have an estimate? The lion, the witch, the audacity of this bitch. Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I can tell you're just going to get more sentimental from here on out. I am not. There's still time, you know. Are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island? Nah, it's too far away now. <laughs> We're already uh, setting sail. 
What? Cass, listen, kid, you can't just stand around on deck. You'll get in everyone's away. I've told Nico to look after you, so you better report below decks and ask him what you should be doing. Okay, can I talk? No. I want to talk to you. Into the big blue, boys! Turn the ship full to starboard. We head for the northern seas. Listen, shrimp, you're really creeping me out standing there like that, so quit it, yeah? Stay out of my way. Way out of my way. Go find Nico. Okay. What about you? And Nico didn't make out half bad with you being the new Swabby and all. New Swabbies always get stuck doing the hardest work. It's a real raw deal. But hey, I'll tell you. It sure sounds like Nico is happy to finally not be the bottom rung on the pirate ladder. You bet he is. Hey, but don't sweat it. I'm sure you'll do just fine. So, so long as you don't disobey him. I don't disobey anyone. Can I talk to you? So your name's Cass, right? <laughs> That's one weird getup you got on. So what's the deal? Is that popular back on your island or what? Now that I think about it though, I think I've seen that outfit like that before somewhere. At least you're not rude. Alright, let's go find Nico. Stop right there, this is Miss Tetra's cabin. Most of us real pirates aren't even allowed in there. There's no way we're letting an outsider in. Don't even think about it. Okay, buddy. Sure. Well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem. <laughs> you are- Oh, ahem. <laughs> I am your superior, Nico. Now I promise I'll go easy on you, so you do as I say, okay? Right. First off, a little test. Goody. Goody goody gumdrops. First off, you gotta press the switch, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up on the floor, you gotta jump to them. Oh my god, you put so much effort into it. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one by myself. Next one's a little too far. Do this! If you jump right at the rope, you can grab it and swing. Okay. Nice. You did great. You landed it. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay rise for a little while, so if you don't get there in time, they drop. You have to start over. Goody. He came out of nowhere. One rough year. One tough year full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Alright, let's restart the platforms because they go off of like when he did it. Alright. Oh! Well. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. I didn't even get the jump onto the rope. Okay, restart. Ooh, I almost fell off. Okay. I'm so scared I'm gonna just fall off. Okay. Hi, how's it going? What? You did it already? Yeah, second try. I, I, I'm proud to have you as, as my, as my underling. <laughs> I'm so emotional. I, I wonder if it's okay just to give that to him. I don't see why not. My dog will get busted. Alright, so I'll tell you what. 
You can have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. They, and, and you wonder why you're bottom of the food chain here, you know? We got the spoils bag. You can keep the items you get from enemies in this handy pouch. You can hold up to eight types of items. Okay. Hmm. Hey Cass, we've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get here. Okay. Bye Nico. Thanks for uh, teaching me some mechanics. Appreciate it. Have fun being bottom of the food chain again. I mean, you never really left. Mama. Hey, Cass, here I am up here. Hello? Oh, right here. Camera. Look at that moon. Look at the moon. What were you doing with Nico? None of your business. Don't tell me you were playing some stupid game for treasure, were you? No. Well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. Cursed Isle, Forsaken Fortress. Oh, that's intimidating. Okay, um, mm, yikes. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that long ago, it used to be a hideout for a no-good group of pirates we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look. Over there. By that window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. This won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near the uh, landing. Ah, what do we do now? Oh, I don't trust that. How did you not notice? Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. They miss last words. We pirates do it all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. Three. Two. One. Bye-bye. Forsaken Fortress. Alright, well, I think I am going to leave this episode here. We know where our sister is locked up. Um, we no longer have our sword, so that's going to be uh, fun. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, and... I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!